exciting. This is not something I created. This is just something we're learning today. Okay? Don't just claim to have taught how to create here. All of this. I can just teach it to you. So here's the deal. As we cut, what we're gonna do is come in and close halfway the scissor. So I'm gonna be pushing the hair and closing as I move in. Okay? So when I go in, I don't want to tease the hair, right? That's rough in the cuticle, it's not looking great, no one's happy with this, this outcome, right? So what, as I go in, I'm going to close the scissor into the hair and actually cut it. So I'm going to grab the hair, come in here, and just a half close, and work a nice line into the hair, just working that teasing technique. So that's a great trick, but you also gotta realize there's another bend and movement here, and here, and here. So there's all the different key points of the head that curve and bend. So as I section the head, I have my parietal ridge here, which is a bend. So let's say, let's say I'm gonna cut a 45 degree angle, right? So this is straight out from the head. So what degree is this? 90, right? So then this is 45, right? But if I keep working up the head, this is no longer 45 degrees, right? What degree is this? If I'm up here, this is zero degrees, right? Because this is 90, right? Yeah, this is the biggest thing that ever happened in my career, right there. So think about it that way. As I move up the head, my degree changes. So now this is 45 degrees and this is 90 degrees. So if I want to move weight throughout the head and do it with a purpose, that's why we end up with a haircut at the end and we're like dry cut and trying to remove all this extra weight that we built up. We wouldn't have built up that weight if we understood how the head's moving within the haircut. sections however size whatever size you want you got the nice thick section here again just riding along this outside of the triangle and so what's good like what we do in our salon when a guy's getting color it's the same price whatever they're getting whether we're doing just a couple of these guys just to brighten it up a little bit or we're doing a little bit of gray blending and what's good about that for us is it it makes it that much easier for us to talk guys into trying something like 